morning, welcome back to the channel. Me, Simon and George are back out again. There's George there, he's out for his third wild camp. We're in Aruri National Park, Snowdonia. And we left Simon's caravan at half three this morning in Bilf Wells. Took us three hours to get here, got here for half six. And there was like one or two parking spaces left. It's unreal, like half six in the morning, it could have been two o'clock in the afternoon. That's how many people are around, it's crazy. But yeah, the weather's good. So that's gonna bring everyone out anyway. So yeah, we're um, gonna take a hike up. Hopefully do a wild camp in a location we've got in mind. We're not gonna disclose where we're going, but you'll see where we end up when we get there. So right, let's crack on. We're only hiking up to 652 meters today. It's not too bad, it's just steep in places, but that's all good. We're on about 240 meters so far, so another 400 plus to go. So we've got all day. It's early. Yeah, just gonna take our time and make a day, night of it. There's George, he's making it look easy. <laughs> I wish I had four legs sometimes. But he's absolutely loving it. He's there with his new Wales bandana on today. Don't know if you can see it. Wonder if George will have a swim. Will he get in there? Oh yeah, he is in there. He's having a paddle. So Mark is on the other side of there somewhere. I couldn't get over there with the dog, so I've got to go up and around. And then meet him over there when I get there. Beautiful day though, I think Mark's probably said before. Really nice day for hiking. Just stop for a minute, I want to show you something. Up there, me and Simon camped right on the edge of that ledge there, up on um, Glider, Glidervach, oh, no, Glidervauer, sorry, I think it is. Yeah, Glidervauer. Yeah, we camped up there, right on that ledge. Epic camp that was. And I'll leave a link up there for that video if you want to take a look at that one. 
Awesome. Wouldn't mind doing that again one day. We go tight to the corner and try and climb up that way somehow. Yeah, go for the gap and then see what it's like up there. Come on in. Come on, George. We've had a change of plan. We went over there in the corner, but it was just slab, and there's no way we could have got the dog up there. So we come back down, and we're going to go up this way. Roll into that gully up there and hopefully it'll be more dog friendly. Look at that for a view. Got the glitters over there. That's a gan. A lady of our. Stunning. We made it. Have a look at this. How beautiful is that? So I think our camp spot's going to be by there. <coughs> if I pan around. A small little island on a small lake. So, <coughs> yeah, we're going to camp here. And one thing has just pissed me off. I've just looked at this tree, right? And someone's snapped some of the branches off obviously to make fire make a fire um, there's one there broken off as well it's absolutely disgraceful I think it is it probably wouldn't burn here because it's you know it's a, it's a living tree you know and look at this year they've had a fire they skirt they scored scores all the grass they've left all the rubbish here as well I think it's disgraceful I do I just don't know how some of these people sleep at night to be honest with you no, it's not good. Not good at all. And it gives everyone else a bad name. We've got dicks leaving shit like that around, like, you know, so... No, it's not good. But anyway, we're going to take that stuff home. Pick the rubbish up and... Take that up home with us, so... At least we can clean that up. But we can't do nothing about the ground. That's all burnt, so... That's the end of that. We just dismantled this fire. We've taken the rubbish out, stuck in a rubbish bag. We've been taking that away and uh, brushed all the ashes around and um, put some rocks in its place. And then, well, it's not perfect, but it looks better than what it did before, that's for sure. So, yeah, don't like fires. I think after all that walking, I think George deserves a dental stick.
Me and Simon are having a chill out now. Simon's had a coffee. I'm having a coffee. Just joined by four Polish lads. Nice guys. They've made their way up towards Crib Gork now. So it's just me and Simon and George on our little tiny island. Sat here chilling out in the sun. Yeah, just had a bit of a funny, uh, funny moment. Like um, me, Mark, and George fell asleep for half an hour on the grass, and then we got woken up by some bloke, random guy coming past, um, and he thought we were dead. <laughs> so he woke us up just to make sure we weren't. But um, yeah, we're very much alive. But uh, yeah, that was nice of him. Ah, so uh, soak me. Yeah, quite amusing. But what a day this is, it's absolutely stunning. Two guys have just turned up and they asked if we were camping and I said yeah, so we're camping on this spot and I think we beat them to it. Still people uh, rock climbing up there. Rather them than me. But yeah, what a, what a wicked day. Absolutely boiling. George is happy, he can go in there. Uh, the lake now again to, to cool off. Can't swim in it's not deep enough. He goes for a paddle. Yeah, so yeah, it's uh, I'm glad we came. Now we, I think we picked the perfect day for it. So should be a good night as well. Come on, George, you're all right. Come on. Right, it's four o'clock. We've waited long enough now. It's time to get the tent up. So, as if by magic, the REI Co-op Flash Air 2 is up. Lightweight, two-person backpacking tent. Um, single skin, nice and airy. Loads of ventilation, etc. etc. And we're taking this, this the Swiss Alps at the end of June as well as hopefully this sleep system we're taking as well. So we've got two Thermarest Neoware X Firm sleeping pads and two Nature Hike CW280 Goose Down sleeping bags. So hopefully these will be warm enough. It should be, because hopefully by then it should be um, pretty warm, the end of June. So, yeah, no gear snobbery here. You know, if something works, it works and it's lightweight. That's all we care about. So, yeah, going to give it a go tonight and then see if it's warm enough. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, that's the tent. Give you a quick panorama. I got it. That's pretty stealth looking. So we've got to share with George tonight. There's three of us in there. Well, I tell you something now. You ain't going in there with me soaking wet. So dry him up. <laughs> yeah. He's, right. Just don't let him go back in the water now. All right, George. No more swimming. No more paddling. You're banned. Hello, George. You alright in there? Have a look at this, guys. Another added feature of this REI co op tent. Just unzip this, roll it back, tie it, tie it up with a toggle, and then you've got extra ventilation. And you can do some stargazing in the night. Same on this side. So we might even leave these open tonight and just sleep in there with um, with the doors open. Just leave the just leave the mesh all um, zipped up. It's warm enough. So yeah, that should be ideal tonight.
We've just been uh, lying down in the tent for the last hour. It is absolutely roasting, so we just went in there to get out of the sun for a bit, because my head is on fire. Simon did warn me, get your hat on. Didn't you? Yep. But I had it on after, but <laughs> it was too late then. But yeah, what a scorching day today. Ideal day for a wild camp. But I believe it's beer o'clock. Simon's got a can of cores. I might get a can out of the camp fridge now, i.e. the lake. And just chill out for the night. Get some food on a go shortly as well. Yeah, what well, an epic day today. Awesome. Right, time for some food. Tonight I've got Expedition Foods, chili con carne, 800 calories. That'll fill me up tonight. This has been a great wild camp. We'll leave you with a shot of George. And we're going to call it a day. Good night. See you in the morning. Just want to mention the um, nature hike um, down sleeping bags, which we um, used last night for the first time. And um, I gotta say, yeah, they, they were adequate. So we weren't cold, um, pretty warm. So um, I think they'll they'll bode well for um, future summer camps. So yeah, we'll give them, a, give them a thumbs up. I think pretty good. All I can say is, it's not every morning you can wake up with a view of Creep Gork. Absolutely stunning. This is just a wow factor for me. I think it's one of the best campsites we've ever been on. It's gotta be in the top five, gotta be. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. Couple of lads over there. Camping, nice lads as well. Another two guys over there. So it looks like it's a pretty, um, popular spot. I, th I thought it would be a bit more remote than this. For some reason I thought many people, a lot of people didn't come here but um, obviously I'm wrong. But it's, uh, it's an awesome place. I think you might hear our cook as a stoves are on so we're going to have uh, a cup of coffee and some porridge and then we're gonna think about packing down. We 
You don't want to leave this place, do you, man? No. You no. don't want to leave. Absolutely stunning. It's that good, yeah, so. Nor does George. Yeah, I'm talking about you, George. <laughs> oh, are you mad? Well that didn't work, George meant to follow us. <laughs>